Hey guys, how you doing? Um, another little video. I haven't done a video in a while and I thought I'd just do um, a quick one. Um, this one will be on the A-Wing. I've just received uh, Last Henning's kit of the smaller um, A-Wing and I'll kind of do an unboxing of that as well. But um, this one's been sold. So this is a studio scale Nyssen A-Wing. Um, and I thought before I pack it up, I'll just get a video of um, of the model, how I did it, and you know, the decals, the painting, all that sort of thing, the extra work that I had to do to to get it to look at it, look how it is. Um, the other one is again, this is studio scale. It's a maquette. Um, so I'll do a video on that as well. I'll do some footage of that. Still got the Falcon of yet to finish for a client so I've been juggling stuff recently it's been um summer's well spring is my busy time at work so I haven't got the, the, the time I'd like to devote to just modeling all the time but um I'll get there slowly and um yeah so today's video is about the A-Wing okay so here we have the studio scale nice and model um a-Wing. This um, is the, there's two different versions of the A-Wing at this size. Um, there's one that's uh, residing in the archives at the moment and this is what this particular one is based on. I had a ton of ref for it so it was uh, a no-brainer really to go for this one. Um, and the other A-Wing uh, is on the uh, uh, the, the tour so that's um, Again, there's, there's a lot of ref on that, but um, this one was under the sort of the archives um, lighting and was sent to me in high res, so it was um, it was it was easy to sort of replicate. Well, not easy, but it was it was nice to have the ref to do it. Um, the model came with um, some uh, okay. It was an okay cast. It wasn't perfect, so I replaced um, all this pipe work. These bits here. Um, I think I even put the um, the railgun parts on. Um, I think there's other few, a few bits on the top that I replaced as well uh, with the original starring kit parts, just because they were, you know, they had snotty sort of resin um, <laughs> blobs in them and that sort of thing. They had to be replaced. Um, underneath, you can see that there is the mount for the armature. This has got a uh, four point um mounting system so the guns at the top come off that's why this one is mounted underneath and the guns themselves come with a thread cast in them so they can be threaded into the armature so you can get them in the into the position you you want um there's the harness for the the lighting and the other mounting point is at the front that slides out and Inside there, you've got another mounting point, uh, exactly the same as the original, and it gives you the opportunity to display it how it was um, displayed when it was filmed. <coughs> the underside I really like because it's uh, the 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 base coat was reefer white, and then it was D H caboose red, um, all archive X. This was back when it was enamel. None of this is acrylic, so this is all never work and I've just really enjoyed the, the, the splashing the washing of the the airbrush with dark lark and here so you'd mask off that panel and just spray at an angle and just keep flooding it um, all this is rust all this orange um, the back I've done a little sneaky hand print there that's not on the original but I thought why not I'll let it on the um, Inside here are literally bendy straws, again like the original. Uh, I had to do some. Um, I, ha I had to redo these rings completely. They're scratch built because the um, the ones that were pro provided were sort of not up to par really. So I redid those. Um, the whole model itself took a ton of work to clamp down the sort of clamshell. I had to heat it up. Um, epoxy it from inside. Um, I've even drilled holes um, on the inside. Um, I don't know if you can kind of get what I mean, but where it butts up inside here, inside, I drilled holes through it 
each side and then zip tied round and cranked up the zip ties just to pull the body closed. It was that much of a nightmare to get, to get it to, to close. But time and perseverance and plenty of epoxy um, glue and Abe's sculpt, I got that closed up and it looked okay. Um, all the decals are original. Um, they're from several aircraft kits. The caution sign here. Um, what else? Oh, there's, there's quite a few inside the cockpit. But I'll do. I'll, I'll zoom in on those later. Uh, yeah. So it was, it, and then a ton of misting with SP light. Um, no, what? No, SP lettering grey. I missed it out with. Um, and then the the old faithful pilot with no arms. <laughs> he is actually cast from a. I think it's a one ten RC plane. Um, it was a really rare old sort of model. And this is how he came in. This literally has is how ILM plonked him in. They took his arms off. Well, it, there was no arms to put on. And um, that's why I get a lot of remarks about how the pilot can see it. <laughs> but uh, I never closed the canopy up. That can be just, the fact form can, the canopy can be just slid on. So whoever purchases it can take the, the pilot out if they wish. Um, the canopy itself was quite um, quite tricky because none of this was supplied in the in the model this is just the t strip well it's not t strip actually it's a it's yeah, from ema models i can't remember the thickness but there is also a tiny greebly there and also a screw head as per the original again the the greebly on there and the the screw to keep it closed um yeah so i'll just i'll just put it on its side and then we can have a look at the uh, cockpit and have a look, closer look inside. Okay so we have it sitting as it appears normally on its base. Um, one of the details I really like about the uh, this particular A-wing is the panel here and the blast that's coming off underneath. I also like the scoring on the side. Um, the kit doesn't come with anything that goes inside there, so um, before you close up the clamshell, you have to insert some styrene and cut it to shape. That was quite tricky. Um, but again, it, this is a big sort of resin kit. It, it's, it's due to have problems that I can't wait to start building the last heading kit because it's it's smaller. It's it's it appears to be cast nicer though. This is. In my eyes, the sort of the true studio scale one because it has got all the original kit parts on it. It's it's the the exact size. I think it works out. I mean that's that's twenty five inches by about seventeen. It's just huge. But um, I'm a big fan of the A wing, so as m as many A wings as I can get, I'll do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is. Um, Unfortunately, sold now. It's uh, it's going out to its new, new owner. But uh, I'm hoping hoping they can in, enjoy it as much as I have. Uh, all the Allen key bolts have been replaced. The metal ones. Um, if I just spin it round, we can have a look at the interior of the cockpit. Oops. So these danger signs there from an airplane kit. I think it's the F-14 Tomcat. All these brass photo etch parts are on the original just literally shiny brass parts they could have been snipped off from the photo etch used on the Death Star 2 um, a lot of photo etch was kicking about at ILM back in those days so they thought maybe that would give it some sort of reflecting light when being filmed possibly um, I don't know if you can actually see inside the cockpit very well the um, tube there that's from the Tyrrell um, you can actually see the cross section in the middle where the armature goes and of course the little chap once he's in there there's not much room for anything else and then the vac form canopy that sort of slides out of the back first if I can get that in I never like working with the vac form stuff but uh, there you go, that's the 
I suppose 110. It works out at studio scale. A wing. Um, all this on the side was chipped, mask oil, and then went in with a Dremel and just attacked it a little bit more. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll just try and show you the cheeky little handprint that I put on it. So if you can just see that handprint there. <laughs> just made out of liquid uh, latex, just a bit of fun. But I remember seeing Guy Cummins at Celebration and I was blown away by it. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. It was um, scratch built by him. I think he had some vac formed canopies, um, not canopies, um, shells, and that's pretty much it. The rest was just down to him to sort of um, detail up with the original kit parts and he just made a beautiful job of it. And I was like, one day, one day I've got to have one of them. So this isn't as good as what he did and it's not as nice as the, having the um, pure styrene one, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it certainly turned out nice in the end. But um, I've, as I say, I've sold this and in the part exchange, I'm getting another one of these kits coming to me anyway. So. I can just do another one. <laughs> I always say I don't like to sell everything, but I'm not selling my my talent. I'm just selling the kit. So <laughs> if I get the same kit back, I can just do another one if and when the time comes. So that is the larger studio scale A wing, and I'll get the maquette up next. Okay, so here is the the little brother, which is considerably smaller than the um, the big version but this is how it started off this was the um the design of just literally halving a f14 and just cut and shut <laughs> squeezing it together this is all styrene all original kit parts nothing's resin this is all from donor kits um just like the original was this is a i think it's an f16 and an f14 put together um the cannons on the side I did scratch build um, and kit bash from my own sort of artistic license because they I mean they were so difficult to ID and I think the one in the arch archives well there isn't one in, well there's a few at the archives there's a yellow one and a red one so far that I found but the main one is in the Lucasfilm uh, the yeah in the cabinets the brown cabinets of Lucasfilm so um just walk past the Yoda statue <laughs> and on your left you'll see it so yeah this is this is lovely because it's um it, it's it's the original a-wing it, it's what the big a-wing is based off so this would have been made as a, as a maquette and then the model shop would have um, taken dimensions and built up the original from this so uh the original so the the big a-wing is completely made in-house it's not sort of a there's no sort of kit parts on the on the hull. It literally is scaled up from this one, which is from kit parts. This is from a um, Tamiya 132 F14. So it's really interesting to see that they, um, I don't think that there's any other instances where they've um, enlarged models from a smaller donor provided model. The other, well, the other thing is um, Bush's helmet. <clears throat> which is quite interesting because Lee Ralph has, has when Lee Ralph and, and Guy Cohen ID'd all this, so it really is down to them that I've, I've got this. So I'm, I appreciate their help. But, um, but Lee Ralph has been doing the the Bouche maquette and that's that helmet is made, Bouche's helmet is made up from kit parts. And when you see the life-size helmet, again, it's similar to the A-Wing where it's strange that ILM upscaled kit parts into a life size if you like uh, prop so yeah this is the the little one and uh, that was great fun to make it, it was painted in the Ralph Macquarie concept art library and um, yeah it's, uh, it's it's literally half the size of the of the big one it, even less than that it's um, it's, it's quite a dilly little thing and this works out at um, what is this, about 10 inches not even that nine inches so um yeah that's uh they're, they're the two um a-wings so i'll just put them next to each other so you can see the the difference in scale
So that gives you the idea of the, <laughs> the size difference. Um, it, it's a dramatic difference. The, the, the big studio scale is it's quite a monster. It really is. It's, it's um, I mean, this is the, that's the Bandai Perfect Grey Falcon and it's, it, it even surpasses that in size. So um, yeah, time to pack that up and get that over to the States to its new owner. Um, but for now, I'll unbox the Lass Henning A-Wing and we can have a real look at the size differences.